Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the to today's webinar. Tough uh, start. Tough start. Tough start. Toughest words, you know. So that's right. You're from Saskatchewan. That, that's you. You're not alone. You're gonna, you you're get those long, those long wow. drawn out stories, and you're gonna get the, a lot the, of trouble hate. enunciating things. And that's right. We're, we're used to this, Drax. Why are you trying to throw a whole province under the bus just because I no, can't just, it, say one word? I have a here. lot of really good friends from Saskatchewan. You know, I mean, you're going to get a lot of hate mail from Saskatchewan after that comment. That's I love all, Sask. That's all I'm saying. A lot of hate mail. It's coming. just your stories are long. <laughs> wow. We're slow talkers, slow drivers, all of that. Um, yeah, so today uh, the webinar is titled Lessons Learned from My Experience in the NHL. I'm Tyson Strachan, and I am joined by my former D partner from college, uh, the yogi, Johan Kroll. Uh, yeah, maybe some uh, uh, sometime in the future we'll do a webinar on my lessons learned from the minors, yeah, the American League and the coast busing i'm sure some some similar some That's similar cool. takeaways where, but, where are we just talking about uh the difference in in card games <laughs> we're talking <laughs> about sharples yeah well, definitely the, the 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 wage you know the the bets out there i'm sure a little different from the the plane to the um yep. the old yep. table on the back of the bus but yeah it's all hockey a more careful on the airplanes in the card games much yeah. more careful <laughs> yeah uh good stuff all right well um yeah excited for this webinar you know strax obviously you know he, he started working with us um you know, five years ago i think at this point but um and then just in, in in helping other guys right it, it should we, we just see you know some similar themes you know along the way um you know guys you know, in, in their careers some some long some shorter and and just a lot of times just similar experiences right and we thought it would be helpful to to put together uh today's webinar give give, give strax a chance to kind of share his story and and some of the things that he um you know maybe learned from wish he might have done a little differently back at the time uh, obviously we, we all make mistakes and um you know we hope you know especially maybe some younger guys um may, may, maybe tune in and um learn from it so uh, just a quick disclaimer, um, you know, th through this webinar, you know, Hockey Wealth Group does not render or offer to render personalized financial tax or legal advice. Uh, everything we're going to be going over today, uh, educational, right? So, so just want to, um, you know, share some ideas and thoughts and, uh, you know, hope, hopefully uh, it helps. So, all right, Strax. So, you know, just in terms of your story, you know, we, we found kind of some <laughs> some fun pictures here. Obviously, uh, yeah, going from uh, on the left there, yeah, you know, like Sid must have, like he doesn't fall over like that. Like he must have caught him off balance because I know you're not that tough. And um, I own Sidney Crosby, but from a young age, we beat him in the national championship in midget. And then you can see my dominance here. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's that's got to be the best pick of your career. I um, think he's, he probably goes to bed with nightmares of Tyson. <laughs> yeah. Well, I I'm having a little nightmare. Yeah, you know, the middle picture here. It, that 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 duster. Um, hmm. Movember, it got to be a Movember stash there. But but that looks nice. And then yeah. speaking of lessons learned, uh, Stewie putting you know your nose on uh, the other side of your face yeah what's and there's a little story there I mean, you could just lead off with that i mean maybe, maybe that's the, the first lesson learned we should we should discuss today yeah um that nose definitely is not intact and it definitely <laughs> i think at one touched my ear maybe i'm not sure it got crunched um and it was the front page of the colorado newspaper the next day and i just happened to have a buddy that sent it to me and then of 
all the pictures out there, that is the one that ended up being my elite prospects uh, <laughs> picture, which I don't know who is running that site, but good on you. That's good humor. But yes, yeah. the, the first story of a lesson learned there was uh, just the way games go. Uh, you know, they were spanking us that night. I'm not even going to throw the guy under the bus who I was playing with, but uh, there was a guy, a teammate, their, a teammate of mine, and on their team, a guy not as tough as Stewie. And I was hoping to fight him. And before I got a chance to, um, our tough guy fought their second toughest guy. And so then I kind of at that point was. <laughs> was screwed i i, I kind of had to um we went off in between periods and stewie was hanging over the bench just letting me know saying we're going and i'm saying yeah i guess we are i don't really want to but yeah so then this teammate of mine pulled me out uh, in the hallway in between periods he's like okay so you're gonna fight stewie just know he's a lefty you know, so we spent about five minutes. I go, I can't throw lefts, you know, he's like spent five minutes of the intermission, him, you know, trying to show me how to fight left handed. First shift to the second period starts. We go out. Yeah, it's a fight. I line up lefty, line up lefty. We come in, I go to grab him and he just goes whack with a right. And my nose went boom, you know. So, uh, and that's the way I learned. remember it. I think that one night we got to watch in the YouTube video. It, it maybe wasn't the first punch, but it, it was pretty close to it. And I think I just hung on for dear life after that and tried not to get hit many more times. So, yeah, oh, <laughs> not, not always the uh, great tips from teammates uh, well intentioned maybe but didn't work out that well hey well we might discuss that a bit more here yeah uh, it leads into this i think pretty well right all right here's the first one strax and I, I thought you know you put some really nice bullets together here you know besides uh you yeah. know maybe well, tough fight so there but <clears throat> Anyways, yeah, so your last NHL paycheck may come sooner than you think. And that, um, I mean, I think for most of us that are on this side of the game, you know, it's not just the NHL paycheck. You know, anybody that played pro hockey could probably tell you that very few of us get to kind of go out of the game on our own terms, right? there would be a very select few that, uh, you know, get to play that 15, 20 year career and, you know, make, make a conscious decision to, to walk away from the game when it's right for them. Just the unfortunate truth of, of sports in general, of hockey injuries. Um, you know, I, I was a guy that was an up and down in and out of the lineup guy the long way from being a superstar so um at some point you know you probably still want to play but you might get asked not to and that that's you know just the unfortunate truth of it um it's a good it's a good thing to think of that you know when you start that, that you, we all hope that we turn into that 20 year perennial all-star, you know, that's making all the money you could ever spend. Uh, but for the majority of us, things, things will come to an end sooner than you think and, and maybe not on your terms. So it's always important to be thinking of that, you know, while you're kind of planning things out. Yeah. Uh, this is an interesting one because I, so what is convenient isn't always best. And maybe that doesn't, uh, 
you know, jump out right away to you as something, but I think it was convenience is something that it is often sold to you. And, um, in a lot of different ways, I, I think, uh, you know, there was a story, I guess, that I could tell that, that would give, I guess, kind of, uh, give some detail to this uh at one point in my career i was thinking of switching agents and i went out and you know interviewed a handful of them and uh one of those was uh we were out for dinner with them it was a teammate you know one of my teammates was with this agency um so he came for dinner uh we it's me and him, we meet his agent and his agent brings his financial guy with him that they kind of had something linked up together. And through the course of the dinner, you know, the big, a big sales pitch of it was like, I have this guy in house. And then his sales pitch was, you you don't even see your paychecks like you your paychecks come straight to me all your bills are paid you know all of these kind of those little things and and you never have to worry about it you never have to see it and i mean just luckily for me uh and it has nothing against that guy i don't know whether he's a he could be a great advisor could be a terrible advisor but for me right away kind of the alarm bells went off and and i just kind of quietly after dinner said to my teammate i said that's not a good thing you know like i i want to at least know you know where my money is what it's invested in and i said you know, to give that up just to make sure that, you know, my AT&T bill is being paid. Like I, I can easily set up auto pay, right? Like I can handle those few small bills and I'd like to know, you know, exactly what I'm invested in. And, you know, unfortunately there's just too many stories out there of guys that get in these situations, right? Where, like I said, I, this is not disparaging necessarily against that individual advisor. Um, it's just that there's there's too many instances, too many examples of of guys who put their trust in, you know, situations similar to that. Yeah, and even even I was thinking, um, even being careful with like powers of attorney. Yeah, right? oh, like, like who, who you're giving. Um, certain privileges to yeah uh, exactly so, and, and, and you've seen that you know work out in unfortunate ways yeah and it's just we all as hockey players it, and you would say the same thing you know when we were playing all you wanted to do is be the best hockey player possible right well you might be the exception to the rule you wanted to be the best and you were studying and doing a bunch of tests at the same time but the majority of us you know we convince ourselves that that is our full-time thing we have no time for learning about finances or or taking the time to kind of you know educate ourselves or, or do the due diligence so anytime convenience is presented to you a lot of guys are willing to take it you know and um a lot of times that convenience has attached to it, you know, very high, um, you know, fees, you know, but, but when the money is coming in, people are willing to kind of pay those high fees, et cetera, for that convenience. Um, but I think a lot of guys, their career comes to an end, you look back on those, you know, and kind of go, well, shoot, I could have paid my AT&T bill instead of giving that guy 1% of my, you know, contract value, right? Like, yeah, it's, yeah. there's some unfortunate Just Be things. careful, I think is the, the biggest yeah. thing. Like, be yeah. careful with convenience that you might. Yep. Yeah. Um, next one here is plan for the unexpected. Um, and 
this tie, you know, obviously tie, can tie in with the first bullet point, um, you know, injuries, et cetera. But it, it doesn't always have to be something within hockey. There's lots of things in just in general life outside of the rink that uh, can happen, can be unexpected. Um, so, you know, not just, you know, stuff, you know, not just having disability insurance, but, you know, like umbrella policies, you know, making sure your house coverage is, you know, what it should be you know things like that there's there's a lot of things that can happen in life and you want to just kind of you know a lot of people want to just think of again they're going to have this 20 year long fantastic career these things are all going to do this this and that and then small stuff can happen along the way that derails that so um yeah, you just want to be, you know, flexible. And fourth here, we have pick the right partners. And, um, you know, one thing that comes to mind right away is just, you know, for us as a group, as a firm, when we have any prospective client come in, uh, one of the first things we will tell them is that they should go out and interview multiple firms, right? Like, there's a lot of things that go into picking the right partner, um, you know, going back to that convenience part of it, you know, like it, that, that's not always the best, but, uh, in picking the right partners, one of the biggest things you can do for yourselves is, is to educate yourself a little mm -hmm. bit, right? Cause, uh, as hockey players, again, we're so focused on just being the best hockey player, what are we going to eat? You know, where, where are we training? What kind of sleep schedule do we have all that just to be the best hockey player the next day. But we don't want to take a lot of time out of our lives to, to, you know, learn about these things, but you, you don't need to learn everything. You don't need to go out and have a degree in finance. You don't need to go get, you know, licensing. You, you, you just need a cursory knowledge, right? So, just to read a couple books, you know, good books on, on this topic while you're, you know, on the plane ride, skip out on one poker game and, and read a book. Find kind of, you know, an, enough knowledge so that you can go into any of these kind of meetings, you know, because they're going to come at you, right? When As soon as you play, you're going to start getting... Phone calls, phone calls, people, you know, we can do this, we can do that. And and being able to just ask some very intelligent questions, right? It doesn't need to, again, you don't need to know everything. But to kind of be able to answer a, a couple upfront questions will really be able to help you kind of do your due diligence and, and, and wade through. And, and maybe going back to me getting my nose smashed off my face like just because somebody in the locker room you know said hey like this guy is great at this like we've unfortunately you know it's unfortunate but there's just way too many stories of you know it's, it's not always it's not only individuals that are had these kind of headline stories of being taken advantage of it's been groups of guys right and it's it's very easy to get caught up in that and people uh you know how it is in the locker room that that stuff goes a long ways and you even if your your d partner is telling you this guy's great you know make sure you do a little bit of research on your own and uh and just uh yeah wade through that on your own implementing a dynamic financial plan i mean that <clears throat> i'm not going to go into like a ton of detail i guess on, on what that all entails but it, it it plays back into planning for the unexpected you know you, you don't just have this static plan with all of these assumptions you know i think that's where a lot of people get caught up where they have these you know, assumptions um, built into their plan that this is going to happen, then this, 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 and that, um, you know, things 
little roadblocks, things come out of nowhere in life, you know, whether it be in the rink, out of the rink. So making sure that you're planning for those things and that your financial plan, you know, has the ability to be able to handle, um, you know, some things not going the way and be able to pivot and adjust. And uh, that goes a long way to, to have an, a, a, you know, a strong financial future. <clears throat> and last, I mean, I just thought it was important to put that on there just to always be grateful because, uh, I mean, I don't know if there is a lesson more important that I learned, really. Um, I, I think I, I tried to implement that always while I was playing. Um, but, uh, you know, there's times you get caught up in, in the game. There's times you get caught up in your home life. There's times all of that. But if you can remind yourself to always be grateful because those days, they don't last forever. And and you'll look back on them fondly. But, uh, you know, while you're in it, try to be present and and just be thankful because it it is a lot of fun. Great game. Yep. Good job, Strax. A lot of of personal things there that you know you're willing to to share and um yeah i thought that was i thought that was good thanks yogi yeah i noticed that you skipped past that really quick like you weren't going to share anything it's like just let let strikes yeah well i yeah like like i said at the beginning i've i've uh, maybe we'll do our own webinar on yeah That's you know cool. lessons from the american league and and yes. getting shorted on my 60 dollar per diem or whatever it was Oh, 10 okay. 12 years ago when i was playing but um yeah a lot of lessons you got to well, get that you got to be careful with that per diem you yeah know, that's... well can we, we should we should do that and record it like on a bus you know <laughs> we're playing some schnarps so yeah. well take us out you got this one yeah um so you know as always kind of kind of the inspiration when we founded our firm um you know, a number of years ago now, but, um, yeah, just hockey guys helping hockey guys. And, um, yeah, the vision's always been, um, yeah, just, just a group, uh, doing the right thing. Right. And, and kind of that locker room, like, uh, environment of being accountable and, and helping one another. And, um, uh, yeah, we, we would love to be a resource to, to you and your family. Um, uh, you can learn more, you know, kind of throughout our website, hockeywealth.com. And obviously we'd be happy to uh, give you some feedback, try to point you in the right direction, even if our firm ends up not being uh, the right fit for you. But um, uh, yeah, we appreciate you taking the time to hear some, again, some long Saskatchewan uh, stories there. Uh, but can we put a transcript on it? So at least they know what I said. <laughs> Or maybe we can do like the you know the the one point five times or the times two. We just maybe speed oh, it up, make, make the the listen. webinar half the time. That would know. be a good way to listen to me. Maybe. Yeah, In something like that. Speed, but... perfect. Yeah. Well, yeah, thank you everybody for taking the time. Thanks for joining, Yokes. Awesome. Thanks, guys.